Mr. Metcalf is an 80-year-old from Indianapolis who is struggling. He's regretful that his health isn't better. It looked terrible. I figured if I let make it through this video alive, I'll be all right. When Mr. Metcalf went to the doctor to ask for help on how to lose weight, his doctor said, here's a few prescriptions. It's really not possible at your age. And I, I had to do something besides just take another test. When he asked the nutritionist for help. She wanted me to keep me on the standard diet. And I thought, no, I can't do that. She said, sir, you just have too many problems and you're too high of a liability for me to help. So Mr. Metcalf was on a quest. He was determined to lose weight, to get healthy at 80. Join me to watch how he did that. Jim Metcalf and I'm 81. Mr. Metcalf was desperate, and each time he went to the doctor and they ordered labs, they did some tests, the doctor measured him aging one day at a time. And, and they were gonna wait until it failed, you know, to put me into the next stage. Mr. Metcalf followed the advice of his doctors, and for two years, he did exactly what they said. Mr. Metcalf could feel that he wasn't getting better. His energy was low, he loved spending time with his wife and caring for his sweet wife, but they both had put on extra weight, had several medical problems, and had the med list to show it. His average blood sugar was still 190. That's way too high. That's aging his brain. That's taking away his energy. That is causing heart disease faster and faster the longer he leaves it that high. He took all of the prescriptions just like his doctor asked, and he kept asking for help, and yet no progress was made. The lab reports time and time again showed that, yep, he still had diabetes, he still had high blood pressure, he still had kidney problems, and he was another year older. I, I realized that, that, that things weren't going good. So after two years of not doing well, of struggling to find answers that worked, Mr. Metcalf said, I'm gonna go on that ketogenic diet. I had watched your show for a while, and I thought, people like you are, are struggling to convince others that this, that this won't kill you. And, and I thought, well, I'm 81 years old, and I thought I'd be a good example. As he looked into the ketogenic diet, he could hear warnings. Mr. Metcalf injected insulin for his diabetes. He was on several blood pressure medicines. And did I say he was 80? All of the advisors that he could find warned him, check with your doctor, check with your doctor. And sure enough, he asked his doctor, can I do keto? And his doctor said, no, that's too dangerous at your age. Here's the thing, doctor. It doesn't do you any good to, to tell people that they should see their, their uh, family. I mean, it is true. I know you have to probably say that for legal reasons, but it, there's not too many people that know. So he asked a nutritionist. He looked up in his area of Indianapolis. Is there a keto dietitian? And lo and behold, he found one. I told her about how bad my health was. Well, she said, uh, you know, I'm a little afraid to treat you because she said, uh, I have liability. I just really don't think I want to do it because you've got all these problems. Sir, you're just too old for keto. That's a serious problem for people that are trying to, trying to get onto this thing. Mr. Metcalf was super determined. He was not going to give up. I did a statistical analysis. Not only did I document it, I gave a copy to my doctor. And I, I'm not even sure he left, looked at it. And I discovered, but whenever I'd have just meat for breakfast, like sausage or bacon or something like that, um, my insulin was more in control. And I noticed that I was most out of control by the evening. Mr. Metcalf and his old computer bought an online course and they watched that to learn how to do keto. Mr. Metcalf began and he had great success. That insulin that he's been injecting that was keeping his blood sugars at 190. He used the sliding scale his doctor had offered and said, when your blood sugar's low, don't give any insulin. When I started keto, uh, not only did my insulin stop really quick, but also my uh, acid reflux went away. He didn't need insulin anymore after one week of the ketogenic diet. More successes came. As he continued to lower his blood sugar and his energy rose, he stopped a couple more medications. He continued to push his skills, surrendering his sweet tooth, no more Diet Coke, and lo and behold, he lost weight. Mr. Metcalf started out at 250 pounds. 
for 2018 and 2019, he followed his doctor's recommendation full stop. 30 pounds of weight loss, and he was disappointed. When he switched to the ketogenic diet, he lost another 50 pounds. But what's remarkable is what happened to his labs. His hemoglobin A1c is the average study of his blood sugars. And while losing those 30 pounds, his labs didn't change a bit. It was only when he switched to the ketogenic diet that he got that hemoglobin A1c under 6. At 5.5, his average blood sugars hang out just above 100. This is almost back to normal. He got off of his insulin right away, but soon after got off of his heartburn medication. By the way, I didn't know Nexium was supposed to be used for a short period of time, and I had been using it for years. And he'd been suffering with this strange side effect of loose stools. He'd had a colonoscopy, he'd had multiple tests, and he kept asking his doctor, what else could we do about these strange loose stools? The doctor said, well, I want you to have another colonoscopy. And I had just had one, you know, the previous period. He said, it could be a medicine. It could be your Nexium. I stopped the Nexium and saved the uh, colonoscopy. He found that not only was the side effect that he was struggling with from that medication gone, but his heartburn didn't return. I haven't even thought about it since then for about a, over a year and a half. I've got, the, I've got leftover Nexium in my medicine chest. The ketogenic diet had somehow helped with that. And indeed, it does help with that. 18 months later, Mr. Metcalf has now lost nearly 80 pounds on the ketogenic diet. He's actually struggled with too low of blood pressure. And a couple of times in the supermarket, he passed out only to go to his doctor and say, I think I'm taking too much of this blood pressure medication. So he's lowered his blood pressure medication off of insulin, off of that heartburn medication, and several other prescriptions are lower than they were at the beginning. But most importantly, Mr. Metcalf has energy like he hasn't had in 30 years, and he is using it to help other people. So as Mr. Metcalf and his wife enjoy the best health they've seen in years, and they're sharing the ketogenic journey with others by watching that online course together, he's found that he can teach the ketogenic diet without the liability because he isn't a doctor. He can teach others what he did to improve his health when the nutritionist said no and the doctor said no because he was too old. Mr. Metcalf and his wife are now enjoying the best health they've had in years. And my favorite part is they're not just taking that health for themselves. They've used that online course to show others in their elderly complex how they lost the weight, how they've restored their energy, and how they've stopped some of those medications that they were asking their doctor to teach them. Get me off of these. I don't feel as well. Mr. Metcalf, you and your wife win. You have restored energy and you're sharing it with others. If you want to learn how to help your immune system, even in your 80s, using the ketogenic diet, click here. I'll show you how white blood cells can reverse in age.